Hey everyone, this is Alex or Polymomo T, and today I have a video showing you how to make these cute little string plastic charms based on the Kanae collaboration with Pokemon. And this is in collaboration with Lorian's Craft Box, so don't forget to check her video out as well. So first, for my materials, I'm going to take some rough and ready frosted string plastic, and I like this because you can draw on it very easily. And I have my dandy iPad where I have my images of Kanae and Pokemon collaboration. And I'm just gonna make it bigger so I can trace it nicely over my iPad. And I'm using a Posca chalk marker because I like how it looks on the frosted. And I'm just tracing out my designs. And so I'm using one with the Dedenne, Rowlet, and Pikachu stacked on top of each other. Next, I'm tracing a Snorlax, and it looks like it's eating a bunch of berries. Then for my third image, I decided to do some Splashing Magikarp. And if you look at Lorian's craft box, she also has the Splashing Magikarp in her craft as well. And for my final image, I decided to choose a little Poplio with a little ball balancing on its nose. And for the next minute or so, you're just going to see me coloring with color pencils. And this is just regular Crayola color pencils. And so this is a collaboration between Kanahe, who is an artist, with Pokemon and I love Kanahe's art. I actually found out about Kanahe through Abby or Lorian's craft box and I really love her very simplified and cute style. So we decided to do a Kanahe collaboration. And fun fact, Kanahe actually drew a Pokemon card and I believe it was Dedenne and it's probably one of the cutest Pokemon cards I've ever seen in my life. And after coloring all of them in, I'm just using some scissors to cut a nice outline around them. And here are my lovely four cutout Pokemon. And I thought, hey, let's just add some Pokeballs. So I drew some Pokeballs out of Posca markers and colored them in with Posca markers. So here are my four cutout Pokemon with my Pokeballs. And I believe I'm gonna wave my hand here. And I think I was gonna do like some kind of effect, but I never recorded the second half. And so I actually just shrunk them in the toaster oven. That's probably what the hand wave was for, but I forgot to film it. And here are my tiny little Pokemon with the Pokeballs. And I forgot how much they shrink. So they're a lot smaller than I had intended for. But anyways, 
we're gonna go ahead. So I'm taking some Sophie and Toffee soft resin and I'm adding a bunch of glitters to it just to make it super sparkly because why not? So with my glitter mixture, I'm doming the front and back side of my shrink plastic piece and letting that cure under the UV lamp. And it should look like this. And I added a little speck of resin on the corner of my shrink plastic piece so I can put my little pokeball on there and let that cure as well. And then now it has a nice 3D element to it. And here is the final product. We have my three little Pokemon stacked with the pokeball. And I have the rest right here which has the same doming effect and pokeball on top. And I really liked how the Pokeballs came out super 3D in these. And I don't know why, but I think the resin was partially tacky. So when I gooped it on, it had just like a perfect dome onto it. So it's like a perfect semicircle. But I'm super happy how these turned out, even though they are a lot smaller than I expected. But I guess I saved resin in that aspect. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to check out Lorianne's craft box with her cute little Kanae Pokemon Terrarium. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you.